how do we how do we hear from you guys tonight in person? In just a moment, that's going to be part three tonight. Is is how we get your confidence at work. Uh, in addition to that, if you think some later tonight, next week, you know, try to get them into that in during that sixty day scoping period. But we'll take comments after that. Uh, is is online on our website at perk.gov. You can send us an e-comment. Um, that's great. My handwriting not too great. But you can send us stuff online, so we prefer that, so we can easily read your comments. But you can certainly send us something in paper copy. Uh, but if you do something, send us something uh, in the mail. That address is up here on the screen, and it's uh, at the back table tonight. Um, you can send us something. Just make sure that when you put it on there, you mention the project name, so we get it to John and the right people to review the project. Uh, the docket number for Stable Trail is PF14-1. Just make sure you stick that on there somewhere so we can get it to the right people. Uh, in addition, uh, you can find everything to do with this project online on our website. Um, and that is through the e-library link on our webpage. Um, it's something that we call the administrative record. So you can find pretty much everything on there that has to deal with this project. Uh, it's got any letter that we've sent to the company, anything John sends out to them that says, maybe, hey, look at this alternative, give us some information on that. They've had every single comment that comes in on the project. So if you send us something or uh, you give us a copy of something tonight or mail something in, it'll pop up on there and you can actually read your own comment online. And it'll have everything the company sends in too. So all, all the materials they send to us, all their description of the project, it's all on there. You can find it on our website. Um, now everything, everything that comes in on our website, uh, all the environmental staff at work, we have this thing called e-subscription. It basically just gives you an email anytime something comes in, so you're not spending time checking the FERC website every day to see if, if John sent the company a letter. So anytime something pops up, they'll just give you an email. Um, that's called e-subscription. And all the staff at FERC, we use that to track project. Uh, the last thing just to mention is the environmental mailing list. So if you got some stuff from FERC in the mail, you're on our mailing list. That's great. Uh, but if you want to get some stuff from us in the mail, notices that we send out, make sure we get your address in the back. Um, and when we send out our environmental impact statement, we need to have your address so we send it to you. Um, the issue we do send it out, as John mentioned, it's, it's pretty thick, it's pretty heavy, they get kind of expensive to send out. So to save on paper, we'll probably send you a CD. So if you don't want a CD, you don't want to read it on your computer, let us know you want a hard copy, and we'll definitely make sure you get one of those. Okay, so with that, we're going to open up to some comments on our process. Uh, take more questions one by one, but I ask that you come down to the podium and speak into the mic because we do have a court reporter who's transcribing everything tonight. Uh, so I ask that if you come up and ask a question, state your name and spell so that we have your name correctly spelled. Uh, don't want to butcher and slot your names. And if you come up again later to ask another question or state something else, uh, you don't need to spell your name again. It's just the first time that you come up. So, is there any questions that people have on the process? No questions? Okay, if you have any more questions later, um, sure, yes sir. Uh, 